Welcome to the Twisted Pint Tavern. Today we're asking D&D players and DMs of Reddit, what was your funniest nat 1 or nat 20 story? I kinda go off script a little and come up with creative punishment for nat 1s. Had a guy trying to eavesdrop, rolled a 1, so he damaged his ear leaning in on a splinter and went deaf in that ear. Later he was trying to use booming voice to talk to an entire area, rolled a 1, went mute. So he was half deaf and completely mute for the rest of the session. Player here, Hi Elf Wizard. We were doing a mission where we needed to talk to a tavern owner. I was a little bored, the beginning was a little slow, so I said to the DM, I'm going to buy a bagel to earn his trust. I rolled a nat 20, got the information, and was the proud owner of a bagel. Later in the same session, we get attacked by a group of skeletons. We had already fought some zombies, and I had no energy left to cast spells, so I threw the now stale bagel at the skeletons to defend myself. I rolled an at 20, and because we had a DM with a sense of humor, the bagel ricocheted like a pinball and knocked the heads off of every skeleton. Sorry, that's the best I've got. Well, <laughs> it's a pretty good story, so I'll take it. Yesterday I was playing a session where I'm a lawful good paladin and my friend is a chaotic neutral tiefling rogue. I found out they were a wanted criminal and began to chase them. We had a whole intense fight scene and it ended up with me catching up and pinning them to the ground. They then began to mock how gullible I was and said, look, someone is robbing a store over there, sarcastically, but the DM made them roll. They rolled a 14 for persuasion and I rolled a nat fucking one. I dash in the other direction, giving them time to grab a weapon and throw it at me. Honestly, props for doing the PvP stuff pretty well, I know that derails a lot of campaigns. Buddy came by while five of us were playing. He didn't have time to play that night, but we talked him into helping with the one battle. Gold Dragon, we were gonna need it. Two rounds into the fight, Frogamo the Gnome Barbarian Samurai, half naked with an oversized katana, sprints through the cave. 20, 20, 20. Lops the thing's head off and sprints out the other side of the cave and the player leaves. DM was crushed. Spent hours planning that fight for it to end in 18 seconds. We still laugh at that one. I was DMing a pre-planned module which called for an NPC antagonist to read a scroll that was way too high level for him as a first attack. So I bring him out, roll a skill check, natural one. No way. I'm gonna fudge that one. Let's roll again. Natural one. Okay to hell with it. The dice want this. Roll for backlash. Instant death. Okay players, so you enter the dilapidated church, and you see a man in tattered priestly robes jump up on the altar from behind. He screams, you can't take my son from me, and reads from a magic scroll. And his head explodes. Take your fucking XP. It actually did creep the players out pretty impressively though. Well I can imagine that, I mean you're building up for a big boss fight just to have the boss's head pop off, I mean they gotta feel like something's coming afterwards. So my players were in a tournament against some homebrew enemies. They were struggling with a group of jesters because of their trait that, upon attacking, they can use their bonus action to throw a laughing gas bomb, causing an AoE attack where everyone in a 10 foot radius from the origin of the bomb must take a wisdom saving throw or fall prone, and at the end of their turn they can roll a wisdom saving throw again to stop laughing if they are, in fact, laughing. These jesters also have a feature where every being within a 20 foot radius from them that's laughing increases their AC by 1, offset with a pretty low AC. I actually think that's a pretty cool mechanic, though I could see it getting out of hand. Anyways, I'm going off topic. They were starting to get really mad after being in a battle for quite a while, so they took every chance they could to end one of the Jester's lives. And eventually, I, the DM, made a mistake. The Jester leaps from the platform and lands behind Nygmuta and Kate. They brandish their spear and, wait a second, can I use my reaction? Uh, sure? Okay, so I have my magic dagger, right? Yes. And since Kate is next to the enemy, I have advantage, right? Correct. Okay, okay, so I use my reaction to attack the enemy. Go ahead, roll to hit. First roll, nat 20, crit. All right, wow, okay, carry on. And since Kate is next to them, I get advantage, therefore I have sneak attack damage as well. Oh god, not again. Context, Igmuda's player is infamous in my group for having super OP builds and destroying pretty much every single enemy fight. So take that damage, as well as the extra magic damage from the magic dagger, insert even more calculating mumbo jumbo here, in total that equates to 199 damage. Dude, he's already dead! Yeah, he's dead, you don't need to keep doing this. It's fine, it's fine. As you plunge the magic dagger into the weird devil's heart, black and purple start to seep from the wound and into their skin. Suddenly, their chest cavity explodes and purple blood is sent flying into the arena, leaving nothing but fine purple dust. Following up with that, another player got another crit in that same fight and beheaded another jester. My party is insane, but I love them. Thanks for stopping by the Twisted Pint Tavern and make sure you don't forget your cloak on the way out. Leave a like if you enjoyed the stories and subscribe if you want to become a regular. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.